Today, we're exploring space, the great beyond, the Middle East, and the supernatural. But it's Friday. Nerd Soul. Late ill kid at one youngster holding it down, bring you that street geek and nerd soul. And what is up, my people, today? Oh, yeah, we about to get into dropping jewels. And you know what it's about? During the week, we miss a couple things and we sprinkle them on this show. So, man, let's wrap. Star Trek Discovery's first look trailer finally came. Finally, finally. For a while, I thought this show was not going to happen. Like, there, there seemed to be delays and director changes and writer changes and script this and script. But the trailer is here. Mm-hmm. You see all that? Looking beautiful. Now, let's talk about how beautiful. The, the, the scale of the set design, the makeup. Yo, they putting their foot in this makeup. Like, they are really taking it to another level like they are really blowing it up on a scale that i did not expect to see it maybe that's why they were pushing this back because they knew this show was going to be real hot and they had to kind of like all right take our time scale back a little bit because our makeup has to be on point you know our sets have to be on point and you know all of these alien creatures the alien worlds the you know the uh the bridge all that look very cool and i'm super psyched to see something like this go down finally but you know michelle yo uh sneaker martin green like just it's just dope man like just to see them two together um playing off each other so well because i was wondering what the their uh kind of like their dynamic would be like would they be you know hardcore gung-ho or would you know one be reserved and stuff like that so it looks like you know michelle will be a little bit more reserved and you know, Shaniqua's character will be a little bit more like go, go get him. You know what I'm saying? So I'm I'm psyched to see how this will play out between their pairing, especially when it comes to, you know, the, the bridge being in danger, the Federation being in danger, stuff like that. And how they'll, you know, affect each other and how they'll teach each other back and forth, especially when they're talking about, you know, um, you know, you've been under my command for seven years, blah, blah, blah. When they were walking on the, the beach. It was just, even the beach just looked good. Like the way they, you know, like the color grading on it, man, they, they really, they really stepped it up. So with a powerful crew at the helm, it seems like this was worth the wait. It seems like they've got some powerful themes. Uh, it seems like they've got some interesting tie-ins between like the Klingons and, you know, what might be going on in the background with the Federation or with the Vulcans as well. And I'm, I'm, you know, I'm... I'm, I'm psyched, man. I'm really psyched. Like, I'm not... I've never been a super Trek fan. I've been more into the movies than the actual shows. But I'm, I saw this. I was like, cool, man. Yo, I'm down. You know what I'm saying? Take me to space. I want to see what adventures y'all go on. And I want to see, you know, what kind of life lessons or what kind of, you know, mysteries you guys uncover during your, you know, your missions and your battles and your uh, wild adventures. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. And then setting it in a time period where you don't have to specifically inform on the rest of the series. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, man. Like you have, you have like personal and public issues going on, on, you know, on the bridge while they're like speaking. You have the dude saying that, you know, he can feel death coming on. Um, and it just seems like something to be excited about. And I hope you guys are excited. You better be excited, because if you're not, I'm going to be like, yo, man, you can't leave me by hanging by myself, man. So let me know what you think about the Star Trek Discovery trailer down below, because to me, it's been a long time coming. It's about time. Let's get this thing going. Let's not talk about the CBS All Access thing. I'm not sure if I'm on board for that just yet, but for the show, I'm on board. So uh, let's go ahead and move on and talk about Chinese soldiers, shall we? Next up. We're finally getting a first look at Operation Red Sea. Um, it's about some Chinese soldiers that are on a rescue mission in the Middle East or North Africa to kind of, you know, affect change where there's been a coup, uh, there's there's been nuclear arms, some terrorism going down, and they got to rescue their own man, and it looks 
gritty. And you can see in the in this part trailer, part behind the scenes first look, you can see that these guys are really going for a realistic kind of look. Like the, the way the angles are, the way it's lit, the way the shots come off, it looks very almost like a documentary. But you know, of course, you know, it's not a documentary, but it looks very like almost like you're there the way the shots come off. And I'm having a lot of fun watching this trailer. At first, it seemed to come out of nowhere for me. And I was just like, Operation Red Sea, let me see what is it. But now I'm like, yo, Operation Red Sea looks kind of sweet. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm definitely down to see it. I'm always up for some like Black Hawk Down, Tears of the Sun type stuff. I'm always down for that. So, you know, you got these, you know, you got some eight, eight soldiers that got to go and rescue somebody. You got some terrorists and, and you got, you know, some, you know, nuclear weapons. I'm in. So guys, what I want y'all to do before we hit the jump is go ahead and check out that trailer. Let me know what you think. And before you let me know what you think, and before I let you know a little bit more about this joint, I got to remind you guys that you can find me at Black Hollywood Live. That's right. The first online network for African Americans is super dope. They do after shows, celebrity interviews, follow Black Twitter, sports talk, geek nerd tech, all that. And it's super dope. And to get more in tune with all that and follow up on that blog post, hit up BlackHollywoodLive.com, man. Check it out. It's super sweet. And from week to week, if you want to keep up with the videos, hit up YouTube.com slash Black Hollywood Live. So hit me up down in them comments. Let's talk about Operation Red Sea, man. It looks cool. It looks gritty. There's a lot of, you know, you know, bombs and explosions and, you know, like tactical things going on. So it's up my alley. But I'd like to see if you guys are into it or not. So holler at me. I'm going to holler at you. And we got to move on to uh, The Witcher, man. Next up. <laughs> Netflix has just ordered an adaption of novels uh, that are effectively known as the Witcher series. And they're gonna pretty much put it on screen for us for maybe 10 or 13 episodes, and I can't wait. Here's why. Um, not only is this series of novels like highly revered as super dope, and you know, people across the world love it, but this thing has some longevity. Like this joint was like, back in the 80s and 90s or whatever and not only has the you know not only has it affected you know pop culture but it has also become a huge success in a video game series and if you didn't know about the witcher it's about these witchers or hunters that get kind of supernatural abilities at a young age and it follows you know and chronicles their adventures as they hunt you know what i'm saying and not only are the games cool, like I've only played a little bit of one of them, I can't remember, it might've been like The Witcher 2 or something like that, it's been a while. But not only do they look cool, but I love supernatural action. And this is something that kind of like falls into that realm for me. And I think that the love from the video games and the love from the novels, you know, put all into this is gonna be amazing because, and this is a big get, the creator is going to be a consultant on the show. And when I say a consultant, it's not like the dude's going to get paid to be on set for one day. He even was talking about how they give, you know, so much control, um, how they are sticking to the themes, they're sticking to the source material, and that's what gets him hype about, you know, like this whole project as a whole. And I'm pretty sure like he wouldn't even sign on to do it if it was something like, yo, just give us, give us the name, The Witcher, and we're gonna do whatever we want and you just take a back seat. So not only does the game look cool, not only the novels like highly praised, but now we have visuals that already exist, like as far as the video game. So we know that visually this works. And on the paper, we know that the stories work. So now with those, plus this show and the creators down with it too, I think we're in for a great time binge watching something else on Netflix. Look, Netflix, look, all right, you're doing too much. Or maybe you're not doing enough. Like you definitely have a lot of cool stuff. You have some whack stuff, but you have a lot of cool stuff too. I'm super psyched, man. Anything like supernatural action, I'm definitely down with. I really want to, you know, see how this plays out, man. I think that 
under the umbrella of Netflix, also with the actual creator, you know, putting his hand on it, his stamp on this as a consultant, kind of helping them guide the ship. Man, I think we are in for an amazing show. So, are you a Witcher fan? If you're not, check it out, read up on it, play a game or two, and then come back here. Let's talk about the Witcher and, you know, what the mythology is, what the lore is, and let's talk about how dope this show will be because I'm extremely excited for anything that's like supernatural action and is good. So, yo, man, that's my time. And I know you got to get to your Friday. You know I'm going to try to keep this show short, so let's do this. ThatNerdSoul.com is where you need to go to check me out and all of my videos if you want to get that catalog on. And don't forget, you can drop me a line and holler. Then hit up shop.thatNerdSoul.com and pick yourself up a t-shirt player. And don't forget one for them playettes. And thank you guys so much for the support on Patreon. Then come back here, like, comment, subscribe, and share that nerd soul. That's right. There is no better way that I can show people that you like what you are watching. And my shout outs gotta go to LA What Up, VA What Up, RVA, you got my heart. And please, man, be good to yourselves and be good to each other. Man, look, Star Trek Discovery is finally here. Woo! Peace.